is Prithee from Snapped and welcome to the Snap series of film reviews. As you know, I'll be giving you a quick review of a film that I've watched. I'll let you know what I like and dislike about the film. And by the end of this video, I'll be giving you my score. That being said, let's get straight to the film. The film that I'll be talking about is a 2017 Cambodian American historic film called First They Killed My Father. The film was directed by Angelina Jolie, based off the memoirs by Long Ung under the same title. The film was screened at the 2017 Telluride Film Festival. It was also screened at the Toronto Film Festival as well. Then the film was released worldwide on Netflix on September 15, 2017. Netflix rated this film TV mature due to violence. Alright, so now about the film. The story begins in 1975 with their life at the Cambodian capital city Phnom Penh. As a young daughter of a middle class family, her father worked for the Cambodian government which allowed her family to live a good stable life. All of that changed when the Khmer Rouge, a communist guerrilla organization which opposed the Cambodian government, invaded Phnom Penh. Forcing Long Ung's family and many other families to evacuate for fear of being killed. This leads to them trying to survive at a working camp run under the Khmer Rouge's organization. Congratulations to Angelina Jolie. This is a beautiful film portraying the bittersweet history of Cambodia on screen. The true story shows the effect of the revolution promoted by the Khmer Rouge through an innocent little girl's perspective. That's what worked for me in this film. Watching the whole situation or the whole event happen through the girl's point of view. It made the experience amazing. As a matter of fact, most of the Cambodian actors and actresses in this film are all first time actors. All the actors did a great job, especially the little girl. She barely had any dialogue, but majority of the film was just mainly her emotions. Through her emotions, it conveyed all the horror of that conflict. The film did a good job of building tension throughout the whole film. The cinematography has to be mentioned in this film. It was beautifully taken. Everything felt larger than life. Shots like this make you understand the feel and the perspective of how the girl looks at the world and looks at the situation around her. So definitely that was a plus in this movie. The only downside that people may have an issue with is the pace of the film. It might be a bit too slow for them. I personally think the pacing was fine. And for that, I'll give the film a 4.5 out of 5. I highly recommend you guys to watch this film. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any other film suggestions, please comment below. Until then, see you guys next time.